Hey guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. It's the most beautiful time of the year. Lights fill the streets. Okay, so obviously I did not film a vlog today. I ha honestly have not felt good. My throat's been hurting really bad. So I did not want to leave y'all without a video. So I'm going to do a nighttime skincare routine because I've had a few requests to do it and I figured it'd just be something easy that I could get up for you. So I'm just going to be showing you the products. I'm not actually going to physically show you how I do my nighttime skincare routine because it's so late right now and I have not even edited this video. So if y'all want to see like a how I do it type of video, just make sure to leave your request in the comments below and I'll get that up for you because I feel like that'd be something fun and easy to do and I want to throw some cute edits in there and I just don't have time for that right now. Okay, so the first product I use is the Nuance Salma Hayek Cleansing Oil. And when I have a full face of makeup on or even just foundation, I just pump like four pumps of this into my hand and work it into my skin. And it gently just melts off all your makeup without having to use several different types of cleansers or even makeup wipes because makeup wipes aren't that good for your face. I will admit that I use them when I feel lazy, so I just keep some in my drawer. And when I don't feel like getting up to take my makeup off, I will just wipe my makeup off. I said I just pump a few pumps of this into my hand and gently cleanse my face off with this. And how I get it off is I just use a warm rag, like a facial rag, and wipe, wipe it off my skin. You can use a cotton round if you want to, but I don't like that because I feel like it doesn't get it all off. But you can do whatever you feel like. So the next product I use is the Clinique liquid facial soap and this is in mild they come in four different steps so the consultant will just do a skin analysis on you and figure out what kind what skin type you have and she'll match you up to one of these so this is a three-step process you can buy them individually but it comes with the cleanser the toner and the facial lotion so i just pump a couple pumps in this into my hand you don't need much and i just gently like give myself a facial with it so anytime you cleanse your face you want to just cleanse from the inside out because going in the other direction is going to tug on your skin and prevent or not prevent it's going to cause wrinkles so you should exfoliate your skin two to three times weekly and to exfoliate my skin i just use the clean and clear exfoliating scrub i want to say is what it's called i'll insert a picture of it right here i don't feel like getting up to go get it right now i actually forgot it but yeah so you want to make sure you exfoliate your skin two to three times a week to get all your dead skin off. It actually helps your makeup look better too. So. so after you cleanse your skin, you want to make sure you use a toner. And this is just the second step from the Clinique. And it's just a clarifying lotion. You just use a cotton round or a cotton pad to wipe your face with this. Again, you want to make sure you're working from the inside out to help prevent wrinkles. But this just brings your skin back to its normal pH after washing it and stripping your skin of its natural oils. So on days I feel like treating myself, I will just do a face mask, especially when I feel like my face is congested and it feels nasty. I usually use the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. It's in a little white bottle. You can get it at Sephora. It costs around $75. It's actually really expensive. But a good alternative to that is the Beauty 360 Detoxifying Perfecting Black Facial Mask. And you can buy this at CVS. I find it's a really great dupe for the Glam Glow. It's not exactly a dupe, but it's a good alternative because this costs like $16 and the Glam Glow costs $75. So I know some of y'all are on a budget, so either works, but if you can get the Glam Glow, get it because it's literally sent from the heaven above. So you can use that as a full facial treatment or a full facial mask, or you can use it as a spot mask. So whenever you see a pimple or, you know, a bad person appear on your face you can just take a little bit and dab it onto your problem area and by the time you wake up the next morning it should be gone like I don't know if y'all saw the other day but a pimple popped up on my face and it was so big so that night I put on the glam glow super mud clearing treatment and the next day I woke up it was so small I mean it's still on my face but it's a lot it's a relatively a lot smaller than it was so if you don't want to buy either of those, I do recommend to 
get a mask though but if you do have a problem area appearing on your face I use the advantage or advantage I use the clean and clear advantage acne spot treatment and the clean and clear Persa gel 10 if I had to pick one of these I feel like the Persa gel 10 works a little bit better than this but they're both relatively like I think they're anywhere from like 10 to 20 dollars not sure they work okay but I'd rather use the mask. I feel like the mask works a lot better than these. So after I get done with the mask, I always, always, always moisturize my face. If you have dry skin, if you have oily skin, it does not matter. You should always moisturize your face because it helps prevent anti-aging and wrinkles. So, same thing. The nighttime moisturizer I've been using recently is the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. And I like it, but it says it's for normal to dry skin and I find even when I use this my face still feels really dry so don't know if y'all have any recommendations on really good moisturizing lotions then just let me know in the comments because I love to hear what y'all's opinions are on products Water. after I moisturize my skin with a lotion I always use the L'Oreal Paris age perfect glow renewal serum and you always want to make sure you use a serum at night before bed whether you have oily skin or dry skin because like I said this is gonna help prevent wrinkles and we know we all know that wrinkles are a horrible thing and nobody wants them and another thing I feel like everyone forgets to do is moisturize your lips no one wants to see crusty lips and dry lips are a really bad feeling I don't know about anyone else but I hate when my lips are dry so to moisturize my lips I usually use Aquaphor lip repair or the Vaseline rose balm they both work miracles I love them both oh so that's it for my nighttime skincare routine like I said if y'all want to see like a visual of me doing it just let me know because that would be really fun and I can make it really cute I'm sorry there was no vlog today but I figured this would make up for it hopefully I do something fun tomorrow where I can take y'all along with me and vlog but that's gonna be it for vlogmas day four I hope you all enjoyed and let me know what you guys want to see by leaving a comment and make sure y'all are sharing this video with your friends and make sure you subscribe it's absolutely free and you can stay up to date and notified when I post videos so I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 5. Bye guys. Please stop. So like I said, I just gently... I can't think. I'm not doing anything. So like I... You're distracting me. Car oil. Huh? Oil. Car oil. You need water. Water. Wow. Wow. Shawty